Get ready for a glimpse into the future of Iran's military prowess. With groundbreaking innovations ranging from advanced combat helicopters to stealth drones and hypersonic missiles, Iran is set to redefine its defense capabilities. In this video, we'll uncover the key technologies poised for unveiling during the Fajr Decade celebrations. From bolstering air power to revolutionizing naval operations, these advancements are more than just technical feats. They're strategic game-changers. Stick around as we take a deep dive into Iran's military transformation and what it means for the region. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Over the past year, Iran has faced a unique combination of political and security challenges that delayed several significant military unveilings. However, as regional tensions ease and we approach the celebratory Fajr decade, we are on the cusp of witnessing groundbreaking military and aerospace developments. In today's video, we'll explore these anticipated unveilings in detail and discuss their implications for Iran's defense capabilities. One of the most anticipated unveilings is the Iranian army's new combat helicopter, a project that has been years in the making. The Havanaru's commander recently promised its debut during the Fajr Decade celebrations. This helicopter is expected to feature a domestically developed turboshaft engine, a milestone achievement for Iran's aerospace industry. General Rouhani, CEO of Panha Company, stated that the engine project began three years ago under the guidance of a private knowledge-based firm. Given the timeline, it is likely that both prototype and production-ready models are complete. This development not only enhances Iran's self-reliance, but also marks a significant leap forward in its helicopter production capabilities. The helicopter's capabilities are speculated to include advanced avionics, night vision systems, and increased operational range further strengthening its role in Iran's tactical and defensive operations. This innovation comes at a crucial time as Iran seeks to modernize its aging fleet and counter regional threats. Another highlight of the Fajr decade could be the unveiling of the Kaher drone. Smaller than its manned counterpart, this unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, has been ordered by two branches of Iran's armed forces. Reports suggest that both branches contributed to its development, creating tailored versions for their operational needs. Amir Kaje Fard recently confirmed the drone's advanced flight tests are yielding promising results. Non-official sources hint that the Army's Air Defense Force and the IRGC Navy are the primary users of this drone, with applications ranging from surveillance to strategic targeting. The Kaher's design emphasizes stealth, adaptability, and payload capacity. It is expected to feature cutting-edge radar evasion technology and precision-guided munitions, making it a versatile tool for both defensive and offensive operations. These capabilities could establish the Kaher as a cornerstone of Iran's UAV fleet. One of the most groundbreaking potential unveilings is Iran's first hypersonic cruise missile. General Farahi revealed that the missile was developed in two phases, a 300-kilometer range variant and another with a longer undisclosed range. With regional security dynamics at a critical juncture, the presentation of such a missile could reinforce Iran's deterrent capabilities and shift strategic balances. This hypersonic missile is believed to combine exceptional speed, maneuverability, and precision. It is designed to evade advanced missile defense systems, ensuring it reaches its target effectively. Such a weapon would be pivotal in countering naval and terrestrial threats, enhancing Iran's strategic deterrence. Another eagerly awaited development is the arrival of the Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets. Reports indicate that two Su-35s were delivered to Iran's Hamadan Air Base last month in dismantled form and subsequently reassembled by Russian technicians. These jets have already undergone test flights, and official presentations are expected during the Fajr decade. This marks a significant enhancement of Iran's air combat capabilities, especially in light of increased pilot training programs in Russia using Yak-130 trainers. The Su-35's advanced radar systems, extended combat range, and ability to carry a diverse array of weaponry will provide Iran with a formidable edge in air superiority. Its introduction will also complement ongoing upgrades to Iran's air defense network, ensuring cohesive airspace security. The Shahid Bagheri drone carrier is another candidate for unveiling. 
satellite imagery shows significant progress in its modifications and successful sea trials. Recently, footage revealed seven naval helicopters on board, fueling speculation about its imminent debut. This vessel is poised to revolutionize naval operations by integrating drones with traditional naval capabilities, expanding Iran's reach and operational flexibility. Additionally, the drone carrier's design includes sophisticated hangars, advanced communication systems, and launch platforms, enabling simultaneous UAV deployments. This multifunctional vessel underscores Iran's commitment to modernizing its naval forces and increasing maritime dominance. In the aerospace domain, the Qaim-105 satellite carrier is expected to launch the NOR-4 satellite within the next year. This carrier addresses critical technological bottlenecks, paving the way for the Qaim-120 project, which promises enhanced capabilities. NOR-4, with a rumored imaging precision of 2 to 3 meters, will position Iran as a significant player in satellite-based intelligence and reconnaissance. Moreover, the Qaim 105s modular design allows for greater payload flexibility, supporting various satellite types and operational needs. Its successful deployment would symbolize Iran's growing independence in space exploration and surveillance. The Iranian Navy plans to unveil logistical drones and unmanned systems for air, surface, and subsurface operations. Additionally, the IRGC Aerospace Force is expected to showcase new hypersonic and supersonic cruise missiles. Notably, the Fateh II hypersonic missile, unveiled last year, could play a pivotal role in countering hostile fleets in surrounding waters. The anticipated unveiling of advanced solid and liquid fuel engines seen in recent satellite imagery underscores Iran's ongoing innovation in missile technology. These advancements will likely support new classes of ballistic and cruise missiles, reinforcing Iran's defense infrastructure. The Shahed-147 reconnaissance drone, Iran's largest UAV, could also make its debut. With a wingspan of 26 meters double, that of the RQ-170 IT boasts a 60,000-foot operational ceiling, high endurance, and advanced SAR radar capabilities. While primarily a surveillance platform, its presence could significantly boost Iran's strategic intelligence capabilities. This UAV's ability to operate in extreme conditions and collect critical data makes it an essential asset for border security and maritime operations. Its debut would also serve as a statement of Iran's technological and operational advancements. In conclusion, the Fajr decade promises to be a showcase of Iran's resilience and technological prowess. From combat helicopters and advanced drones to hypersonic missiles and groundbreaking aerospace projects, these developments will send a powerful message to the world. Each unveiling reflects years of meticulous planning and innovation, strengthening Iran's position in a complex geopolitical landscape. These advancements not only reinforce Iran's defensive capabilities, but also signify its readiness to face modern threats with confidence. Stay tuned for detailed updates on these unveilings. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into global defense advancements.